I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Best Buy Canada's blog, and it's now possible to add Google Assistant functionality to your Sonos speakers. Alexa Voice Control is already on there, by the way. It was the first voice service to be added to Sonos, and the setup is exactly the same. Now, it is worth pointing out that you can't have both Google and Alexa running on the Sonos speaker at the same time. You do have to choose your digital assistant. Adding voice control, though, lets you turn your Sonos into a smart home hub. Also important to point out that if you want to talk to your Sonos speaker and truly interact with it and have it act as a Google Home device where it can hear you and respond, that's only available on the Sonos One. If you have an older Sonos Play One, as I do, you can't talk directly to this speaker, and that's because there was no microphone built into it when these were engineered. Not sure how to tell if your Sonos is a One or a Play One? It's easy. Just flip it over and look at the bottom. Your speaker model is clearly labeled. All right, here's how to update your Sonos One to add Google Assistant. And a heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me afford my monthly Spotify subscription. All right, first things first, let's make sure you have the most recent version of the Sonos app and the Google Assistant app on your phone. I'm also going to assume that for the purposes of this video, you already have your Sonos One set up on your Sonos account. Next, you're going to update your Sonos firmware using the Sonos app. To check if it's up to date, go to More at the bottom right there, Settings, System Updates, then click Check for Updates. Next, go back to the main screen and choose More again. Choose Voice Services. Select Google Assistant, then click the Add to Sonos button at the bottom of the screen. You'll confirm the Sonos speaker you're adding it to, then the Sonos app will redirect you to the Google Assistant app. The Google Assistant app will look for your Sonos speaker and should find it quickly. You'll click to allow permission, then you can configure some settings and add connected music services. That's it. Turn the volume up. So what can you do with Google Assistant on Sonos One? You can get answers to all the same type of questions you would on a Google Home smart okay, speaker. Things like, what will the weather be like today? Or using smart home control, turn my lights on or off. Google Assistant can also control the Sonos One for you. It can change playback and volume, change Sonos rooms and groups, and play favorites and playlists. Keep in mind that you can add the room name to the end of all your commands if you want to play music in a specific room. That's if you have more than one Sonos speaker. Otherwise, the music is going to play on the speaker that responded to your request. Making your Sonos smart adds a ton of functionality to your Sonos ecosystem and makes this great sounding speaker even more versatile. If you want to read more, head to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.